Fall for me means friends, family, and fun. Warmth and comfort food. I think of like a warm <laughs> oven, so it's more of a feeling. Oh, really fast. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate. Hey, I'm Joaquin. Hi, I'm Rollin, and today we're making fall-inspired desserts using Jell-O. I picked the vanilla pudding. I'm gonna attempt to make some caramel blondies. First thing I'm gonna do is mix some flour here, baking powder, cinnamon. I'm just gonna whisk that together so that it's well combined. I'm gonna start off with my brown sugar, the butter, and the secret ingredient, Jello here. And that's gonna add some vanilla flavor to this recipe. And I'm just gonna slowly combine all of this with my hand mixer fold in the caramel bits. This really just reminds me of gathering with my family because during the holidays, we love to cook together. We're gonna put it in the oven and let it do its thing. All right, so it's out of the oven now and vanilla pudding replacement definitely worked. The consistency is really moist. I'm actually gonna decorate it with caramel and white chocolate. We have actually some leaf sprinkles here. These little bits of color just reinforce that it's fall. So here we have blondies with jello vanilla pudding. I decided on chocolate pudding, a nice simple little thing that I like to call ghosts in the graveyard. I think I'd like to do more of just a general fall spin on it. So we're gonna do little pumpkins, things like that. First things first, we're gonna start with the pudding kind of reminds me a lot of hot chocolate, and that also is kind of seasonally appropriate. My dad and I used to have sort of a weekend tradition where we would always make chocolate pudding. Cool whip, and with our spatula, we're just gonna add the whole thing. It is very fluffy and light. Crushed up sandwich cookies, and we're gonna add these in. We'll grab our pan to sort of start setting up our little scene. Yeah, it looks like dirt. Clearly it doesn't taste like dirt. Why don't we start with some fun little pumpkins? Oh, I think it's hard to hate chocolate cookies and pudding. Let's call our dish the pumpkin patch. I chose cherry jello, and I'm gonna be making a cranberry pretzel square today. I think this is gonna be fall themed because it reminds me of Thanksgiving. Here we have our crushed up pretzels, which I'm gonna go ahead and add to the bowl. This is our butter, just pour it right in. And now we're gonna add our sugar, trusty spatula. Easy to mix, and it smells amazing. Use your hands, get them a little dirty, and now we're gonna throw it in the oven. Next, we are going to make cream cheese filling. I started picking up tips and tricks of cooking from my mother and my grandmother. They were always like the hosts. Now we are gonna get ready to make our cherry cranberry jello topping. We're gonna pour in our hot water, put our cranberry sauce in with our jello. The hot water is helping to dissolve the cranberry juice. Pour it right on over. Spread this out evenly, and then we're just gonna pop it right in the fridge to finish cooling. Our jello's jiggling at the top, our cranberry pretzel square. I think people are gonna love it. All right, so these are blondie bars. They are cute. They are really cute. <laughs> Let's try it. Are you ready? That's good. That is really good. <laughs> this is really moist. It mm. is. Here we have our cherry cranberry pretzel salad. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. That's really good. I like the tartness. Mm hmm I think it balances out how sweet everything else is. That's really tasty. You ready for mine? The pumpkin patch. Oh, I got it. I already went for it. It tastes delicious. I, <laughs> I like with this one that you can like kind of customize the bite. Like you can pick up a piece of the candy corn or you can go for the marshmallow mm -hmm. or you can combine. <laughs>